is one of India's most controversial TV anchors, Arnab Goswami, faking his TV ratings. You've probably heard of rigging sports matches, but have you heard of this? The Republic Television rating scam. Arnab Goswami paying people in Mumbai to watch Republic Television. How Republic TV has gone on to That's cheat the question we are its viewers. Yes. Goswami's Republic TV became an instant hit after debuting three years ago. Today, it's India's most watched English news channel. But now, the Mumbai police are claiming that three stations, including Republic TV, were manipulating ratings. A criminal offence of criminal breach of trust mm. and cheating has been registered with us by an independent agency. Okay. They gave us certain data, they gave us certain names. The Mumbai police say they have gathered evidence from the agency that collects India's television ratings data. It includes confessions from rogue employees who admitted to paying households to watch Republic TV at certain hours. Most of them were poor families who received only a few dollars a month. But according to Goswami, the Mumbai police fabricated the evidence and he denied the allegations in the way he knows best. Come to my house, come to my office if you have the guts to dump. Come and arrest me. I will stand outside my office till you get me arrested. Arnab Goswami is one of the most divisive TV personalities in India and a darling of right-wing nationalists. He's best known for how he treats his guests. Keep quiet, understand? When you're spoken to, when I tell you to why? keep quiet, be quiet. Why? Why does it why does it stand? Why do you want to stand? Why don't you stand up for Janaganamana? What's your problem with it? Why can't you stand up for 52 seconds? And for aggressively backing Narendra Modi's Hindu nationalist government. Narendra Modi not just rededicated himself to the people of India, but he also said there was a quantum shift in the kind of politics India will see in the future. Which is why some in Modi's BJP government stood by him. Republic TV's management also floated a theory. Mumbai police are retaliating against Goswami, who criticized the department's handling of a high-profile case, the death of Bollywood star Sushant Singh Rajput, who allegedly committed suicide. Goswami dismissed those claims and pushed his murder theory. If a crime is carried out in the manner of a syndicate or an institutionalized way, it is called a mafia. You understand, my uncle? Or did the PR companies in Bollywood not teach you that? Goswami's coverage of Rajput's case was extremely controversial. Dozens of high-profile Bollywood producers filed a lawsuit against Republic TV and Goswami, labeling their coverage as irresponsible reporting. But this is the type of controversy Goswami and his channel thrives on. And the Indian government has taken notice. Under Prime Minister Modi, India's liberal media outlets have felt encroachment by the government's hand. Everything from harassing editors, to cutting off advertising, to ordering tax audits. And critics argue that the rise of Republic TV coincides with Modi's attempts to manipulate the airwaves and social media to push his nationalist agenda. And Goswami's show was the perfect platform where pro-government voices would shout down their guests to get their message out. In return, Republic TV would bask in the ratings and advertising windfall. But this scandal has exposed the possibility that it was mostly manufactured and that the appetite for right-wing media isn't as big. So did Goswami have to pay people who couldn't even understand a word he said to watch his show? Kind of reminds me of that spoiled kid who had to use his parents' money to make friends. <laughs>